Marsha with Talks with Marsha, and I'm back with a new video. Uh-uh. Go get your charger. You about to miss the show. I wait. Much better. And before you leave, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you can get that notification. Hey, you guys. Um, I've been away, so like the title says, this is an entrepreneur video right now what i'm doing um camel cosmetic is still here but i did start a new venture i did become a licensed um esthetician and nail tech in the state of florida that's considered a full specialist i'm also certified as um a pmu which is a permanent makeup artist so right now what this edition is about i have been looking for a professional um, office suite or whatever so that I can go ahead and take my business entice brows and beauty to the next step so I've gotten all my certificates I've done all my practices and all that good stuff but now I need to find a professional place to do it because I don't want to be not knocking anyone that does their business at home but I don't want to be an at-home esthetician so um, right now, I am at this location in Orlando, Florida. So I'm going to take you guys with me. Um, I don't, I'm going to record or just take some pictures of the, the space. I have my handy dandy uh, assistant with me. That's my baby. Um, but yeah, so we're going to go ahead and check out the space. I've reached out to a couple other spaces. And because this business, this industry is becoming so lucrative, there has been a plethora of the same businesses opening. So some places won't even let me see the spot because they feel like there's too many of the same type of business in their uh establishment so they just they just tell me there's no availability but this spot stated you know they're good they have different sizes um so i'm gonna check it out and see what i like um i have an idea of how big of the space that i want it to be i don't want anything too small because i would like to do both services in the same area well not the same area but you know um I would like to do both services so i do need a big enough spot so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions comment down below and make sure you follow all my pages because if you followed me on instagram you would have already know that i was licensed and that i was working on my business so stay tuned yeah that's it um it has a pretty big parking lot right next door right off the highway they got a bail bond and a security they got cameras in the parking lot travel agents it's cute and clean in the front This is the entryway. Open the door for me, babe. The other one. Oh. It says, oh, it says use other door. Oh my God. Oh, this is the lease on all this. Cool. And how big is this place? This is the owner's Oh. What does this door go to? This is another office. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is kind of small. <laughs> Babe, watch out. Yeah, it's kind of small. Perfect. Now, of course, I don't want 
this is going to be going. These colors and all this kind of stuff. That's why we get the products, because we don't change it back. We can keep your deposits. Yeah. You know, That would be the only thing I want off. <laughs> I could paint this. And that's another office through that door? Right. And that door. Okay. And this one is 650? Uh, 600. Mm. And you want a security deposit first and last month, correct? Correct. And this one will be available mid-October? Um, I'm hoping by mid-October. The guy hasn't even given me an estimate on what's going to come All right, you guys. So he gave me all the information that I needed. He also stated, I like the second room be better than the first. I don't, know the, I don't know what I was going to do in that first room. Nothing. Nothing. So um, he stated no one has put in the application for the second room. They're just waiting to clean it up and repaint it. Um, he stated that as long as I give that spot back the way I originally got it, then I'll get my deposit back. So, this one here is about 385 square feet. 385, I think 400 square feet estimated. And it's $600 a month plus tax. Tax is $36. So, it's 300, well, excuse me, $636 a month. And my move-in costs with the first, last month, and the deposit, which is all rent, I'm looking at 19.08, and it may increase because I need to put a portable sink in there. Um, so, and I even asked him, like, you know, if you guys seen the other part, like, if I show proof of insurance, which my insurance, I've already checked that out, would be. Uh, two hundred fifty nine dollars for the year with um, I think six million, um, I think three million or six million per incident per person. Like say for instance, a client has an allergic reaction to my product, or I do something that you know cause some type of harm to the client. Um, I want to say the insurance also covers like my equipment and everything. So you know. And I could, if the owner wanted me to add them to the insurance policy as, you know, co-payee or whatever, in the instance that something would happen in the, the space. But he's saying no, but I have a feeling if I talk to the owner, you know, we may get some understanding. I don't know. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, you know worry too much about it hopefully he's only gonna charge me an extra 50 i hope he don't go overboard because anything more i don't feel like it's worth it especially for this this spot but we'll see what happens um there are a couple other places that i'm waiting for a response or want to go see and um i do like that they have 24 hour security the building closes at 10 so i can run my business from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. So um, that's a plus. It has an elevator, um, electricity, water, Wi-Fi, all of that is included. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. There's janitorial fees for public area. Um, they'll put my business on a directory, free parking, and this parking lot holds 140 vehicles. Um, I'll have like a mailbox, conference room, and the management is on site. So I don't have to call anyone and, you know, wait for somebody to come fix something. They're there on site. So that's a plus. Um... Yeah, the building doesn't allow 24-hour access, but they do open from 7 a.m. and close at 10 p.m. except on holidays. So I can already see, I can already vision the decorating thing that I would do with this spot. 
Um, it is big enough to where I could put a divider in between. Not that I would have more than one client there at a time, but you know, just for discretion or whatever, in case someone do walk in, um, I don't want to be doing a waxing or Brazilian waxing and somebody walks in and you can see everything. So um, that's a plus for me. So we'll see. I'll come back, let you know what happens. Uh, I am going to do the application just so that I can get the approval started. And he already told me that I don't have to pay anything until they have that spot um, cleaned up, painted and everything. So I'm not worried. Nobody else has looked. He said many people have looked at it, but they haven't, you know, done any steps to take it. So that's a plus for me. It might be a sign from God. I don't know, but I will let you guys know. Oh, okay. You can go inside. How many square feet? This one has. Feet. Are all of them the same size? No, we have bigger and a smaller one than this one. And this one is the only one that has a full weight. Oh, okay, okay. Um. They have two spaces, you can go two. And two what's the space of this one? Have 125 square feet. Oh, okay. <laughs> <You> okay. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's where you get it from. That's gonna bruise me. This one is the biggest one we have right And all our office comes with the phone service, internet service, we do the cleaning service. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so you don't have to worry about anything of those. Things. And what's the size of this one? This one is 150. Because I can see it with a table, the bed right here. It might work. Yeah, exactly. Because we can take all this above. Yeah, the <laughs> desk. I could maybe one desk, but okay. I don't want to damage the desk. So I would rather bring my own. Okay. And this is the biggest. Yes, this one is the biggest one. Okay. Show you the rest. Okay. And what kind of work do you do with it? Facials, okay. waxing. Okay. This one is the smaller ones we have. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> that would not work at it's all. Little, this one is so very small. <laughs> but it fits better. <laughs> and with the fob, we give you a photo so you have access 24 7 hours. Okay. You can come any day. Oh, you guys have another esthetician here. Yes. We okay. Have, like, That's cool. four more. <laughs> okay. Then all right, you guys, as you can see, I couldn't record the meeting with the owner, but, um, oh. got hand sanitizer in the car. As you can see, I really like room 23, which was the biggest room they had, but get this. It is $1,500 for 150 square feet. Yes, they give your clients water and coffee, when they come in, you have phone answering service and all of that, but, and they put in the portable sink. They include the portable sink and stuff. And is $1,500 a month worth it? I don't know. 
<laughs> I honestly do not know. I don't think so. Not for 150 square feet. It's like... The location is cool because it's right... It's right down the street from the mall. Um, it's nice. It's clean. There's two, I think two or three other estheticians there. Um, well, I don't know. Not for $1,500. The smaller room was like $955. And they really tried to sell me. Uh, they took me to the conference room. We did a FaceTime call with the owner. He was like, if you sign right now, you get one free month. So you don't have to worry about paying until November. Uh, I would only have to pay um, the deposit in the first month. But if I was to sign today, I would have got the month, which that doesn't even make sense because the month of October is almost over. But, well, no. I would have got October free. And then I wouldn't make my first payment until November. So yeah, because as soon as I sign the contract, I can go ahead and start moving stuff in. They would move all the desk out and then they would put the portable sink in and stuff like that. It's cool, it's nice. I wouldn't have to do anything. They would greet my guests. My guests would come in, get their service done, have some coffee, water, whatever. Um, if I ever wanted to do like a conference, a meeting, a course or whatever, which I'm not there yet, they have two conference rooms for that. Uh, a little, you know, sitting area, cafeteria area, whatever. But me being a beginner, $1,500 is completely out of my budget. <laughs> and for the square footage, I can't even say that next year, once I build my clientele, I would even come here because in the next couple of years, I would want a bigger space, not a smaller space. You know so I'll be back again for the next one but yeah I'm about to go eat bye